Welcome to AI and Marketing, your daily news update curated by Stan Bertello and generated by AI. Today is Tuesday, May 14th. Here is what we are covering. OpenAI's showcase of its latest AI model, GPT-40, during a live-streamed event, impressed viewers with new capabilities in its chat GPT chatbot, including a responsive voice assistant and advanced camera functions. The chatbot demonstrated walking a user through solving a math problem by scanning the equation on paper, highlighting potential disruption to the tutoring industry. Voice interactions were notably faster and smoother, with new features initially available to ChatGPT Plus subscribers. Meanwhile, Apple is reportedly close to a deal with OpenAI to integrate ChatGPT features into its next iPhone operating system, indicating a push to bolster its AI capabilities ahead of its annual developer conference. CEO Sam Altman mentioned that GPT-40 is natively multimodal, and its API will be twice as fast and half the price of GPT-4 Turbo. AI developer Benjamin DeCraker wrote that he believed it was essentially artificial general intelligence, AGI. He said, all right, I'm going to say it. This is essentially AGI. This will be seen as magic to the masses. What else do you call it when a virtual person can listen, talk, see, and reason almost indistinguishably from an average human? GPT-40 is the top news today, and in Wired, Brian Barrett writes, I'm once again asking our tech overlords to watch the whole movie. Altman drew inspiration from the 2013 film Her, even tweeting, Her, following the announcement. Critics caution that while the movie showcases the allure of AI companionship, it also underscores the pitfalls of substituting genuine human connections with artificial interactions. Observers urge tech leaders to fully understand the complexities of such narratives before applying them in real-world innovations. To finish up with OpenAI, let's talk about the new app interface featuring a giant black dot as its user-facing personality. CTO Mira Marathi emphasized that the goal is to simplify user interaction, making it more natural and less focused on the UI. The dot transforms into a stylized waveform during conversation subtly reinforcing the idea of collaboration. This minimalist and monochrome design decision marks a significant shift away from more colorful alternatives and will soon be available on desktop and mobile apps. Anthropic, a US AI startup, announced an expansion into Europe, introducing its AI assistant, Claude, to multiple languages, including French, German, Italian, and Spanish. This move follows the extension of its API to Europe, aiming for rapid growth. Anthropic has raised nearly $8 billion, with plans to secure additional funding confirmed by co-founder Daniela Amade. Despite a lukewarm reception of its iOS app, the company emphasizes workplace and enterprise applications, aligning with Europe's stringent AI safety and regulatory standards. New York City Mayor Eric Adams was swayed by AI gun detection company Evolve, partly due to their work with Disney, to test the technology in the city. Although initial tests at a Bronx hospital and city hall had high false positive rates, Adams plans to trial the scanners in the subway later this year. Despite Evolve's own CEO stating the detectors aren't designed for public transit, the mayor sees potential parallels with Disney's heavy foot traffic environment. Protests against AI development are occurring globally, with demonstrators in cities like London, New York, and San Francisco advocating for a pause on creating large AI models due to concerns about risks to humanity. These activists, part of Pause AI, push for international treaties to regulate AI, yet they remain divided on protest tactics and strategies. The group's leaders emphasize moderate legal actions to communicate their message, but acknowledge the possibility of more intense measures if necessary. The movement draws inspiration from past successful treaties banning harmful technologies, hoping to influence current AI regulation similarly. Thank you for tuning in to AI and Marketing. If you want to learn more, check out the episode description. Be sure to subscribe on your favorite podcast platform so you never miss an episode. Contact us to learn how to launch your own AI-generated podcast at nitromarketing.com. That's N-Y-T-R-O marketing.com. See you tomorrow for more AI and tech news.